Lesson 13 homework. Solve. The first one's done for you. So they already did A for us. We're going to skip to B. Convert years to days. 7 years equals 7. Oops. 7 times 1 year, which is equal to 7 times in 1 year, there are 365 days. So 7 times 365, let's do that. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 3 is 45. And 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25. So it is 2,555 days. C, convert meters to centimeters. 4 and 5 tenths meters equals 4 and 5 tenths times 1 meter and 4 and 5 tenths times how many centimeters? Well, we need to know how many centimeters are in a meter. That would be 100. And 4 and 5 tenths times 100, we can easily do that by shifting the digits. So I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the right because we're multiplying and we'll get 450 centimeters. Convert pounds to ounces. Well, first, we need to know how many ounces are in a pound. So there are 16 ounces in one pound. So I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this by 10 to make it 126 times 16 ounces in those pounds. Start with the 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry the 3. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Erase what I've carried. And on to the 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add everything together. I get 2016, but I need to divide by 10 since up here I multiplied by 10. And I'll get 201 and 6 tenths ounces. Convert kilograms to grams. Well, there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So what I need to do is 3 and 9 tenths times 1,000. And that would be, if we shift the decimal point three places, 3,090 grams. Convert yards to inches. Well, there are 36 inches in one yard. So I'm going to need to do 245 times 36. Start with the 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3, 27. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Erase what I've carried here. On to the 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Add up together. We get 8,820 inches. Number 2. After solving, Write a statement to express each conversion. The first one is done for you. So we'll go on to number B. A newborn giraffe weighs about 65 kilograms. How much does it weigh in grams? Well, first we need to know one gram, or sorry, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So we need to do 65 times 1,000, which would be 65,000. And then our statement, we could say, that one gram equals 1,000, sorry, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So 65 kilograms is equal to 65,000 grams. C, the average height of a female giraffe is four and six tenths meters. What is her height in centimeters? So first we need to know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we need to do 4 and 6 tenths meters times 100, 
to convert it to centimeters, which would be 460 centimeters. So then our statement would be something like one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So four and six tenths meters is equal to 460 centimeters. D, the capacity of a beaker is one tenth liter. Convert this to milliliters. We know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So if we have one tenth liter, we can multiply that by 1,000. We will get 100 milliliters. So our statement could be something like if one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, then one tenth liter is equal to 100 milliliters. E. A pig weighs 9 and 8 tenths pounds. Convert the pig's weight to ounces. So we know that 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces. So we would need to do 9 and 8 tenths times 16. I'm going to multiply 9 and 8 tenths times 10 to make it 98 times 16. And then we can divide later. So 6 times 8 is 48. Carry the 4. 6 times 9 is 54, plus 4 is 58. On to, done with the 6, on to the 1. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 9 is 9. If we add it together, we get 1,568, but I need to divide that by 10, so I'll have 156 and 8 tenths ounces. Whoops. 156 and 8 tenths. So our statement could be something like if 1 pound equals 16 ounces, then 9 and 8 tenths pounds is equal to 156 and 8 tenths ounces. A marker is 13 hundredths meters long. What is the length in meters? So 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. So 13 hundredths meters times 1,000 is equal to 130 millimeters. So one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. Then 13 hundredths meters is equal to 130 millimeters.